everyone, Peter Sorensen here coming at you from Tech Academics headquarters campus here in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's day 47 of the 90 day e-com challenge. And uh, if you're hopping on live with us, we're going to get started with some awesome training in just a moment with one of our, our own Tech Academics team members. Uh, she's a rock star. She's one of our e-com advisors, Stephanie Homier. Homier, right? Homier. Homier. Yeah, <laughs> Stephanie Homier, right? She's an absolute rock star. She is crushing it, not only working for Techademics full-time, not only raising two kids as a single mom, but on top of that, building her own successful Shopify store business. And so Stephanie's going to uh, share with you today uh, in this training, day 47, some principles and some strategies of how to be more effective, how to produce less, or sorry, how to produce more in less time, right? The idea of time management and specifically what are the things that Stephanie does, you know, someone who's literally working full time at a job, right? Raising two kids on her own. Uh, one of them has three kids. Oh my God. But wait, there's more. Three <laughs> kids. She's like me. So I was raised by a single mom and three kids. So I can really relate and give props to you, Stephanie, uh, because I know what it's like. And one of them has some, some special some special needs. And so it's a challenge, right? And like many of you, if you're watching, you have challenges, right? Whether you're single or married or whatever, we all have challenges, we all have busy lives, and we're all here, a part of the 90 Day Ecom Challenge to build an e-commerce business, right? The idea of building a lifestyle, laptop lifestyle business, be able to travel the world, be able to work, kind of wear when you how you want, and even, you know, no matter what your goals are, whether your goals are to replace your full-time income, whether it's to supplement your income, whether it's to make you know four figures a month, five figures a month, or six figures a month, no matter what it is, uh, Stephanie is someone who's actually leading by examples, helping our community members, and helping to lead our entrepreneur team here at Tech Academics headquarters, and is someone, again, that's really um, mastered this idea of producing more in less time, effective time management, focusing on what I call the IPAs, income producing activities, okay? And she's gonna share with you, what are some of those IPAs? What are some of those income producing activities on a daily, weekly basis that you should be focused on. So if you only have an hour or two, like Stephanie, literally maybe only an hour in the morning at times to build her business, what are the things that she does? She's gonna be sharing those with you. So um, pay attention, right? Again, day 47 of the 90 e Ecom Challenge, really, really privileged to have Stephanie part of the team. So uh, with that being said, Stephanie, go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Peter. Hello, everyone. Hi, Helen. Nice to see you online today. Um, so I really wanted just to give you guys a little bit more uh, even about myself. Um, yes, I'm a single mom, three kids, one with special needs, and I have the esteemed privilege to work here at Techademics. And what I have found is, obviously, if you're like me, you have dreams and goals and big ambitions and being in this 90 day challenge, you have these set goals that you want to accomplish. And with those goals, we have to have tasks to be able to solidify those. So these are just some of the things that I did. Um, I know that if you're like me, you wanna be here when you're really here. So instead of here and you're really here. And be realistic, re be realistic with your goals. And one thing that I've learned um, here is also to write down my goals. What are those goals and what are some of the daily action steps that I can take? And so if you don't write it down, again, like a goal is nothing but uh, if, if you haven't written it down, then it's nothing but a dream. And so we, here we want to help support that. And I can tell you that through the action steps that I have taken, um, it's really helped my business succeed. And if you have limited, whether you're working this full time or you have a full time job and you're do, building a tech demo or a Shopify store um, part time, then your time may be an hour to two hours. Maybe it's only 30 minutes a day. The goal here is that you're taking daily action steps. And what are those? So I can give you some examples of the things that I have done that have helped me be successful and build a Shopify store and put those into practice. So um, one thing that I actually learned from Damon, um, he is one of our master mentors here. And you guys have probably seen him online, total rock star. And so allowing yourself to have something that you do every single day Touching your business every single day can help you to succeed. Now, obviously, you want those income-producing activities. And one of those would be possibly product research, whether it's um, looking for uh, trust badges or a designer or someone who can do your ads or understanding ads, posting ads, 
um, taking a training. Maybe you want to learn more about Facebook ads and how to become, you know, a Facebook ads expert. You're going to have to set aside time to do those trainings. So some things that I have done is I get up at 4.30 in the morning. And if it's something that I can't do in the evening, like I want to look at a training that say Chris has done, I will start it at 4.30 in the morning. And mind you, I have to drop out kids by 6.30 and be at work at 7.30. And so I'll get up at 4.30 and I'll watch an hour long training video on whether it be a new topic on how to find a really great designer of VC, or a VA or whether it be on how to do better at Facebook advertising um, and targeted interests, all of those things. So I'll get up and I'll do a training. And then at night, I'll take 30 minutes and actually do take those action steps that I learned in the morning time or even at lunchtime. Now, if you have a full-time job like I do, um, you wanna be able to do your work during the work time and then have maybe even during your lunch time, you can add in a couple of tasks for your business. Um, that was one thing that I had done as well. Um, when I first started at Academics was I would get up early, take a training, and then at lunchtime, add in my daily action steps. And that would be like product research or launching an ad. So I'll give you, I'll share with you guys a little schedule, like I said, that Damon had teach, had taught all of us here. Um, that was, that's been very, very helpful. So like on Monday, maybe I'll do product research. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, launch ads, and you're gonna look at those within 24 to 48 hours. And on Thursdays, those are gonna be your big sale days, because obviously a lot of people are gonna get paid on Fridays, they may start to look in and wanna make purchases. And Fridays is when your ads are gonna be fully optimized. So you're gonna go through, look at your Facebook data, and decide whether you're going to scale it or cut the ad. And on Saturday, what I have done is I actually will get up earlier than the kids. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't sleep in. So I'll get up again at um, 4.30 and look at my week and look at what, was, what areas was I successful in, okay? What areas did I actually need to, maybe I needed to learn a little bit more. Maybe it was on a Facebook ads in my inch. I wasn't doing very good at my targeting. So where did I really have the opportunity to grow and how could I help myself be successful the following week? And on Sundays, that's my chill day. That's the day I go to church with my kids. That's the day we go and have fun. We do a lot of fun stuff. And then we also get ready for the week. Um, do a lot of meal prepping, do laundry, you know, all the daily tasks that us adults have to do. So, um, you know, and, and one thing that I have found too that's helped me to be successful is I outsource all the things that I don't wanna do. Okay, and this can include a list of numerous things. Maybe you don't want to wash your car. Maybe you don't like to do your laundry or maybe you don't like to or know how to cook. Or maybe it's um, having someone do your ad copy. Really, it's all about how you can be more efficient with the time that you have. And especially if you're on limited time, then you want to be able to um, outsource everything else that you don't want to spend your time doing and do the things that you most likely enjoy. Um, and also, you just want to, on Saturdays, when you're organizing your week for the week ahead, start assigning the new tasks. Start setting realistic goals. Like, okay, well, I just opened my Shopify store. Maybe your goal isn't to make $100,000 tomorrow or next week. You plan it out in segments. Like, okay, this today, I would like to launch a new ad. By the end of the week, I'd like to be at $100 or $50. You know, be very realistic with your goals. Because one thing that I have also learned is that the only time I've ever been truly disappointed in myself is when I have set unrealistic expectations of myself. And then that brings on doubt and that brings on fear. And so obviously learning these things, now I've realized I set realistic goals. And that's one thing that um, Chris is really, really great at teaching you guys. And I've got to tell you that um, I just feel very, very honored to be here. Um, I just wanna see also, do you guys have any questions for me that I can help you in maybe with time management, a schedule, or anything really? It looks like a lot of questions have been coming in, so thank you for being on today. Ads are still running on Sunday though, right? Yes, some ads will still be running on Sunday, Joshua. 
your ads will still be running. You make the decision, like if you're gonna run ads on a Tuesday or Wednesday, then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you can still review your data. It's 24 to 48 hours, sometimes up to 72 hours I have found when I'll get my most data back from Facebook. And let's see, I know about the program I just showed 48 hours of a study day to use the idea to accomplish that challenge. Uh, okay, so I don't know how to pronounce this name, Ella Mead. Um, yes, I mean, here you're at day 47. I've seen people that have been able to accomplish it just amazing they've reached amazing milestones in this challenge things that i have never seen before and that's all due to the support that we have here um, within this group through tech academics and all of the master mentors that we have here um, i can tell you that you can truly accomplish anything that you set your mind to it's not just about this challenge it's also about what you want to accomplish in with your with your shopify store so um you know, Elamid, you can absolutely accomplish that, setting out the realistic goals and taking daily action steps and really following the training. The training will support you through this. Um, just go back and start at day one. Take it one day at a time. Scheduling again, Monday. Okay, Bobby Joe. Yeah, actually, I, um, I, I got this actually from Damon Coughlin and he does um, product research on Mondays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays is Facebook ads. You just launch a bunch of ads, whether you do one ad or you do five or 10 ads, it really all depends on your own budget. And then on Thursdays is really when the big sales start to show up, um, if your ads are producing. And then on Fridays, you really want to um, look over your data and see which ones you're gonna cut or scale them. And then on Saturday, you're gonna to wanna to do um, organizing of your next week. And then Sundays, you've gotta be able to chill. There's, I always believe that there's gotta be some sort of a balance in your life. Even if that means you, know, you take a half of a day off or you take 30 minutes, you've gotta take time to celebrate the milestones. Even if you didn't get a sale in, in a few days or in your first week, congratulate yourself for making it through that first week and actually learning something new and taking those daily action steps. Celebrate the small things. That is one thing that I've learned to do even when I get one sale. I can tell you still to this day, my children, every time they hear the little ding of the Shopify ding go off, they are celebrating. They start dancing, woo, mom made money, mom made money. They're all very enthused about it. Get your family involved, find your closest supporters and that will help to encourage you to reach those those milestones and, and, and accomplish your goals. A spreadsheet or writing out a plan? Absolutely, great question, Roberto. Um, you know, writing out a plan is very important because I, I, I believe, and there is a saying, that a, a goal not yet written is nothing but a dream. And we all can sit here and dream and, and say the things that we want, but if we don't actually write it down and put even a date on it. I found that, I, even for myself, I don't accomplish those dreams. So writing out goals and putting a date on it, like this date, I will be making this amount. By this date, I will have completed the challenge or I will have completed this training. And even if it's, hey, every Monday, I am going to watch a training or every night at this exact time, I am going to watch a training and then I'm going to implement it at this time. Allowing yourself to set goals and writing dates or and, and or time will help you to not only visualize it, but it's gonna help you to, it's gonna support your dream as well as it's gonna help you to take daily action steps. Yes, Mike running two stores and working 40 hours plus is it can, can be challenging um, and is a lot of work. That's why I would recommend that you outsource any of the things that you don't wanna do. Um, and also other things that take a lot of your time, you will want to go ahead and outsource those, which in our training, we do teach you how to do that. Let me see if there's any other questions here. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, it can be um, a little bit of a catch-22 in regards to outsourcing um, when you're not making any money. Um, what you can do is um, even like my teenage son, if you have a teenager, um, and if you don't have a teenager, maybe you can find someone else that you can partner with that can help you make the most out of your time. Maybe you can split profits. If you find that you, uh, a friend of yours is a designer, but you know how to build a Shopify store, or you know how to do product research and you want someone to fill in the product descriptions, team up with someone that can help, where you can both be successful at the same time. That was something that I would um, have done myself. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Anyone else have any other questions here? All right. Brianne, um, in regards to launching an ad in the middle or the end of the week, you can launch an ad any time of the week that you desire. I mean, I'm just, these are just examples of a schedule that I go by and I know that others go by. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's something that you have to do. Again, if you wanna change it up and say, hey, I'm gonna start to organize my week on Monday or on Sunday or in the middle of the week, you know, it, it's really all depending on what, how, what is best for you. Uh, again, this is just something that I use that helps me to stay organized so that I know that every single day I am taking daily action steps that are income producing activities. Okay, let's see. Anybody else have any other questions here? Sorry about that. Siri, that is actually a training that um, will be covered in regards to good copy in your ads. Um, one thing that I actually do is I will go through Facebook and look at other people's ads, see what is catching people's eyes, which one has the most engagement, who's got the most content uh, or comments as well as shares. That way that you can say, okay, well that worked for them, wonder if that can work for me. I mean, ad copy is really just seeing what is gonna get you the most engagements. It's also gonna be, a t you're gonna wanna have people take an action and create a sense of urgency so that they take that action. All right, let's see. Yeah, yesterday, seven engagements, how long should I run it? Okay, and Michael, I would still wait about 48 to 72 hours on that ad that's got, you know, seven, 76 engagements, congratulations. I would definitely wait it out uh, another 24 to 48 hours to see your results on that. It's a little soon if you just launched it, um, you know, less than 24 hours ago. I have found, from my experience, I have found that my most data that I collect from Facebook, whether to cut an ad or to scale an ad, has been about the 72 hour mark. All right. All right, guys. Can you please explain the creative return? Okay, my view on Kit with Shopify, Jen and Mark Nielsen. Um, yeah, with Kit, I actually have not tested Kit as of yet. I have heard others that have, um, and it can be effective. Um, but that goes back to testing, just like with your Facebook ads. And this schedule, just to repeat that again, is um, Mondays is product research, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, is going to be launching ads. Thursdays is going to be really where your big sales days you're going to start to see whether sales are coming in, if they're not coming in. Um, and then uh, uh, by Fridays is your ads will be fully optimized and you'll be able to choose it whether to cut the ad or scale it. Saturday, get organized for the week ahead. And then Sundays is a chill day. Relax, recoup, and um, you know spend time with your family and loved ones. <laughs> I want to just get through all of your guys' questions you guys are doing. Thank you guys all for being on today.
<laughs> All right, we've got a couple more questions coming in. Oh my goodness, you guys got some really great questions in here. All right. Okay. So the other ones in regards to Facebook ads, guys, here's the thing with Facebook, especially when you're first starting out, I would recommend that you continue to test. Okay. I can tell you that I test three to five ads a day. You have to continuously keep testing until you find that winner that's going to that's gonna knock it out of the park for you and stay the course I can tell you that I've been in e-commerce for five five and a half years holy cow five and a half years and that keeping a schedule and setting realistic goals has helped me to be successful I've had done over five five figures uh, very high significant five figures a month in Amazon um, I started out in eBay and I can tell you that while being a single mom and working a full-time job that I was able to create all of that. So stay the course, stay with the, in the challenge, asking all of your questions, um, engaging with others and, and outsourcing the things that you don't want to do. Even if let's say you're on a limited budget and maybe you have a neighbor you can trade services with, anything that you can do to help yourself be successful. Also, another thing that I do is there is no excuses. In my book, there is no excuses. And the way that we have no excuses is that we set the realistic goals. We say, okay, I've got 30 minutes today. I'm just gonna do 30 minutes. Touch your business every single day. And as long as you don't give up, there will be a way that you can be successful. There is always a way. You stay the course, apply what you learn, apply what you learn, and continue to move forward and assess what doesn't work and go with what does. So, looks like there's a few more questions coming in. I'm gonna answer about two more and then I'm gonna go ahead and get offline. How many products on average do you launch per week? Um, you're gonna, I test about five different products. Uh, Jen and Mark, in regards to uh, narrowing your audience when setting up an ad, that's actually in our trainings that Chris has actually gone over. What is Thursday and Friday and Saturday? Um, Eric, Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Um, Thursday is actually when the big sales come in. You're going to review a lot of your sales. Friday is when your ads are going to be most optimized. And then Saturday is organizing your week ahead. Now guys, look, what I am sharing with you is just an example of a schedule. Do what works for you. Whether you whether you've, you know, you work 40, 80 hours a week, you've got family stuff, you're a stay-at-home mom, a working mom, working dad, whatever it may be, do what works best for you. And allow yourself the, the time that you can give your business, whether that's 30 minutes an hour or a full day allow yourself to go through the training and apply your daily action steps income producing activities every single day even if it's one step exactly Lynn you can't fail if you don't quit absolutely you're very welcome Mike all right guys well if there's no more questions um, that's gonna be a wrap for today thank you all for being on here and um, look forward to seeing you all in the challenge have an awesome day